صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته عليا أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيدي شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه عباد الله وصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون Why do we fast? We fast لعلكم تتقون That you might be reverent That you might reach piety and purity Self-restraint Self-restraint has many meanings. Is it mandatory self-denial upon us that we don't drink, we don't eat? It is mandatory. But do you accept it or you don't accept it? Some people say, I'm not happy. I, I know I have to fast. I know I have to pray. But deep inside, I don't like them. If you don't like them deep inside, you are not going to benefit. Therefore, you are not going to reach self-restraint and self-control. You are not going to achieve لَعَلَّكُمْ تتقون Because you don't like it. Like a student who goes to school, his parents are forcing him to go to school. He doesn't like to go. He doesn't like to study. Is he going to excel? Is he going to succeed? Is he going to pass his test? He's not going to pass. Because he has no personal conviction. He doesn't have any love. He doesn't have any affection for these classes. So he's not going to learn. He's going to fail. God says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ You reach self-restraint and self-control when you really impose this on yourself willingly, with love, with conviction, with understanding. So it is not about punishing yourself when you don't eat and don't drink. It's not about deprivation. It's not about a, a burden because God does not like burden. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرِ God intends to facilitate this life for you, not to make it miserable. So you have to like this. You have to believe in its benefit. Once you believe in the benefit of fasting, the social, the moral, the spiritual, the physical, the medical, then you're going to fast. Then you're going to enjoy fasting. Then you are not going to refuse. Then you are not going to enjoy only fasting Ramadan, but even outside Ramadan you're going to fast. You're not going to have a problem with it because you see the benefit. You see the benefit. And what is the benefit? The benefit, my friends, is the spiritual growth, is the empowerment of the soul. This is an exercise for the soul. When we go outside to exercise or to the gym, that is for the body. Fasting and prayers is the exercise and the empowerment and the refreshment of your nafs, your soul. And we need this. You need to be strong in the community. You need to be strong in this life. If you are not strong, you're going to be fearful. You're going to be anxious. You're going to be worried all the time. You're going to be confused all the time. So this is the benefit of the fasting. 
spiritual growth, spiritual strength, spiritual refinement. This is why we fast. But then beside fasting, look what the Prophet says. The Prophet says, وَوَقِّرُوا كِبَارَكُمْ وَارْحَمُوا صِغَارَكُمْ Have reverence and respect for the elderly and have kindness and compassion for the young. وَصِلُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ Connect with your family during this month. وَصِلُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ وَحْفَظُوا أَلْسِنَتَكُمْ Guard your tongues against anything false, anything bad. Try to control your tongue. وَغُضُّوا عَمَّا لَا يَحِلُّ النَّظَرْ إِلَيْهِ أَبْصَارَكُمْ وَعَمَّا لَا يَحِلُّ الْإِسْتِمَاعِ إِلَيْهِ أَسْمَاعَكُمْ Cast down your eyes and your ears from things that you are not permitted to see or to hear. So guard your limbs, guard your eyes, guard your ears, guard your tongue. وَتَحَنَّنُوا عَلَىٰ أَيْتَامِ النَّاسِ يُتَحَنَّنُوا عَلَىٰ أَيْتَامِكُمْ Have more mercy on the orphans. In the future, they will have mercy on your own orphan. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ دُنُوبِكُمْ Go back to God. عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْإِسْتِغْفَارِ The more you practice istighfar, the more you feel inner happiness, inner relief, inner tranquility. You'll be happy. You will be happy without necessarily having a new car or a new house or a new dress. You will be happy when you increase the amount of istighfar and repentance. This is inner satisfaction. This is inner content. This is qana'ah. This is what we call it, qana'ah. وَارْفَعُوا إِلَيْهِ أَيْدِيَكُمْ بِالدُّعَاءِ فِي أَوْقَاتِ صَلَوَاتِكُمْ When you sit in your room nowadays, and you finish the prayers, after the prayers we have ta'qibat. Ya Aliyu, Ya Azim, Ya Ghafuru, Ya Rahim, Anta Al-Rabbu Al-Azim, Al-Ladhi Laysa Kamitlihi Shay'un, Wa Huwa Al-Sami'u Al-Basir, Wa Hada Shahrun Azzamtahu, Wa Fadzaltahu, Wa Sharraftahu, Ala Al-Shuhur. So these supplications raise your hand. And when you say them, say them with humility, with humbleness before God. فَإِنَّهَا أَفْضَلُ السَّاعَاتِ these hours are the best hours. Yandurun of it, the other part, is when you reach out to others with whatever you can afford. Whatever you can afford. If you can afford a meal, if you can afford a gift, if you can afford some money. If not, if not none of these, you can afford a smile. You can afford some comfort, some advice. Ask about them, greet them. May Allah protect you all, inshallah, during this month. And may we all benefit, all parents, children, all benefit from the blessings of this month and share the beauty of this month with your neighbors, with those that you work with, with the people around. It's the beginning of Ramadan Friday, for others it's Saturday. It depends on your marja. So some maraja do not accept the binacular, Many of them do not accept the binacular and they only depend on naked eyes. So therefore, Saturday is the beginning of Ramadan. For those who accept binaculars, Friday is the beginning of Ramadan. We leave this for you to decide, my friends. May Allah accept your a'mal. May Allah accept your fasting wherever you are, whatever day you begin. It doesn't matter what matters that we are united. We don't argue. We don't fight. We accept each other. We accept each other's conviction and we accept each other's belief.